Usually JR time, but his car is broken down, so I hope your car is okay. <laughs> Hopefully it's not so expensive to fix. Shout out to JR. JR, we we'll love see you. We'll <laughs> But uh, our rundown topic, that I think one thing that we should talk about first, I don't know what you guys think about um, the Mars play right now, this past Top few games. The Mar. What do you guys think so far? He's a god. He's a god. The Mar, the gods in. No, that was bad. He <laughs> is playing out of, well, he played out of his mind. To be even in the same conversation as Michael Jordan is, I love Michael Jordan. What do you guys think? I still think he's doing pretty well, even though he's not averaging 30 anymore. He's still putting up great percentages, contributing to his team a lot, not with just the points, but also assists, rebounds, even getting some steals. He's doing things that I would think uh, I've seen him do in the past. Uh, do you think being in the Olympics, playing with all these you know, NBA superstars and winning the gold medal, do you think it had a big effect on him in terms of his confidence, in terms of his gameplay right now? Is this, do you think it has a lot to do with it? I, I, think, I think so. Yeah. I think he had to be around those elite players just to show that he's of caliber, especially the, what was that, the Sports Illustrated, the, the list? Yeah. Oh, yeah, That yeah. hit his ego really <laughs> I think hard. Mega views, yeah. And I've seen that around social media a lot. FOH 46. <laughs> <laughs> he was 46? Yeah. 46. Okay, who were the he people above him? Yeah. Um, probably Clay Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Butler. Jimmy. Uh, I mean, a, a lot of shooting guards that I, th I feel like he, he, he wants to prove that you know, he's, he's in the conversation in terms of some of the best shooting guards in the NBA, mm -hmm. right? He's definitely in the conversation right now. Exactly. I mean, James Harden moved to the one, so now yeah. he's definitely up there. That's <laughs> true. I mean, like, what about the fact that, you know, in, during the summer, when people are criticizing about his play that he can't hit a three-pointer, he can't hit, you know, his shooting percentage in the three. Can he hit a three-pointer? Eh, he, he can hit some point. But I'm, nah. I'm saying in terms of average, in terms of percentages. But mm. what is interesting is what he did was instead of during the summer, instead of working on his three-point shot, he worked on polishing his mid-range. Mm -hmm. He worked on polishing that pull-up game that he has, and now you can see the results. So what do you think about that? The fact that he didn't look through his weakness, but he looked through what his strengths are, and he just basically mastered the thing that he does well. What do you guys feel about that kind of... Wow, that sounded like a meme. Not a meme, <laughs> an inspirational <laughs> image that comes up on Facebook. He worked on his strength, and it totally, sh it totally shown. It's true. I, w there was a lot of little snippet videos on Facebook, yep. and it does look like kind of Black Mamba type, you know, fadeaways and everything. So he is polishing his mid-range game and just the back toward the basket type stuff. Like... I didn't see, I used to actually be a hater of DeMar. I'm still a hater, <laughs> but it's still early in the season. Um, Mark did say Chandler Parson was better than DeMar. Yeah, DeRozan, I was just about so. to say, so. It's, in, terms of, in terms of now, like, I, I want to take it back. <laughs> <laughs> shove, it, shove, shove it back in your mouth, man. I mean, but the funny thing is, you actually are still right. He's still yeah. not good at three-pointers mm -hmm. because he didn't work on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's a mid-range shooter, and he's perfected that game. Mm -hmm. I think that's some, probably one of the most impressive things I've seen him, like, you know, this whole season, just to start, just to see his game. It's just so impressive to watch. Mm -hmm. right? Remember that 40-point game he had on 23 shots? Exactly.